New York City. A homeless man with an extensive record of harassment decided to harass some more. It's definitely enough for me, dog. On a subway. Well, when you round, what the fuck? You find out. Damn! And oh, he did by an ex-marine. I disrespect you. Coming up on what's next. <laughs> What's up? Jazz Braganzo, what's next? Your daily. How are you guys doing today? Remember the, uh, let's take a trip on the way back. Let's go way, way, way back to 2020. Remember that year? You know, the summer of love, you know, peaceful protest, you know, people just, you know, getting their thoughts out, you know, walking around and wearing their masks. Not really. Over $5 billion worth of damage. Over two dozen cities burned, cops getting shot, killed, buildings getting robbed, looted, residents being upended. But it was all peaceful. Well, it seems like that uh, some in New York City are trying to, you know, gin up the crowd again. It turns out that a homeless man with an extensive record of harassment decided to try to tap that well one more time on a New York subway. When you round, you find out. And oh, he found out because an ex-Marine decided to step in and take care of business. But of course, the homeless man was black, the Marine was white, and there you go. This comes out of the post-millennial. Breaking medical examiner rules repeat violent offender. Violent offender. Jordan Neely's death was a homicide as New York braces for riots. Because of course they will. The city saw protests and anger from residents on Tuesday after the news of Neely's death was made public. New York medical examiner determined that Jordan Neely, 30, who was put in a chokehold by a fellow subway passenger, a veteran Marine, on Monday, died from compression of the neck. Gee, where have we heard that before? And stated that his death was a result of the homicide. Dia Alvin Bragg is investigating the incident. Yes, that wonderful Alvin Bragg, you know, who's got uh, political aspirations of her own by going after former President Donald Trump. Anyway, the city saw protests and anger from residents on Tuesday after the news of Dean Lee's death was made public. Strap hangers converged on the MTA stop at Broadway's Lafayette streets in downtown Manhattan to protest the quote-unquote killing. Protesters gathered inside a subway station on the platform, though that spilled out into the street. Excuse me, press, Tandy. They're not letting you through over here, right? They're not letting you through. <laughs> For safety reasons? Can you now you got to remember, this is all completely organic. <laughs> NYPD in the middle of the platform are substantially more hostile and aggressive than anywhere else. They've got flex cuffs out, anti-terrorism, and a full police line they're enforcing. Further down the platform behind the protest, totally different story. That is absolutely fabulous. People will shout at Neely's name on a street near the subway stop where Neely was pronounced dead. Massive chaos. SRG ran into the crowd from the back, resulting in pushing, shoving, people getting stuck between layers of cops and shoved some more. Pushed down, grabbed while trying to help each other get up. Three arrests, nothing unlawful. It seems like the New York Police Department is actually doing their job, and it's not politically based. Oh, wow, what a concept. Following four arrests for reasons I can't figure out from the witnessing of the reviews, protesters are told to retreat, and the only people around the van are photo hogs. Crowd chanting, say his name, Jordan Neely, well, of course they did. Neely was a homeless man who was killed by a fellow subway passenger on New York Monday. The man, Jordan Neely, 30, was reportedly behaving in hostile, erratic manner. 
and had a warrant out for his arrest on the charge of felony assault. He had been arrested more than 44 times for public lewdness and assaulting a senior citizen. Wow, talk about a pillar of the community. Michael Knowles. It's a little early. The presidential election is until next November, but it seems that the libs are already hard at work inciting the next round of conveniently timed riots. Instead of protesting uh, the man who inadvertently killed Jordan Neely while restraining him, New Yorkers should be asking why a madman with 44 prior arrests was walking around in the streets in the first place. New York's catch and release policies created the powder keg Charlie Kirk. New York's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez stoked the fires of public outrage by saying Jordan Neely mur was murdered. But because Jordan was homeless and crying for food at a time when the city is raising rents and stripping services to militarize itself while many in power, demonize the poor, the murderer gets protected with passive headlines and no charges. It's disgusting. Oof, the outrage. Of course, on my Twitter feed last night, yeah, she got ripped to shreds. The subway system is plagued, uh, so the, excuse me, the subway system is plagued with homelessness and it's frequent occurrence for New Yorkers to get on a subway and find homeless people spouting off insane things, confronting passengers or using a subway as a toilet or bedroom. Quote, this is exactly why Jordan Neely was on the train, threatening people after 44 arrests instead of being locked up and alive, one Twitter user. The homeless man Jordan Neely was put in a chokehold by a veteran Marine who was trying to prevent Neely from continuing his aggression against other passengers. Neely 3 was restrained for 15 minutes and was pronounced dead at the scene. The incident occurred on North and Bound, uh, Bound F train and Neely was restrained after beginning screaming about his dereliction of his circumstances. He complained about lacking food, drink, being tired, said he didn't care if he went to jail. Well, he should have cared. My thoughts. The fact of the matter is, is that of course they are going to do the whole black white thing because that's what the libs do. You know, if you can't debate them, if you can't outfact them, you attack them. That's exactly what's going to happen. So, of course, we already saw that with uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, you know, and her spouting off a murder Like I said, she did it on Twitter, and of course, she got shredded for it. But um, I would like to uh, hear what the Marine thinks, you know, because they deemed it a homicide. Of course, Alvin Bragg is looking into it. And more than likely, this Marine is going to be charged with murder, which of course should not be the case. As a fellow New Yorker, he basically did what he was supposed to do. He defended, he defended not only himself, but also he defended other people on that subway from lunatics who had an extensive record of assault and should have been put in jail where, guess what, he would still be alive today. I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss an episode. And we'll see you next time. Peace.